Okay, so the third pass I'm going to show in this sequence is based off the same entry from set up. So I'm here. If you do feel that you are kind of running into your opponent, then I, I believe that you're not putting your knee angled out far enough. So that's why I say knee to knee. So if you're here and you're kind of like hitting your opponent, it's because you need to angle out a little more. So from here, this I usually use in a case where I might have messed up and I didn't um, get this on my shoulder and I'm starting to lose it. You know, it's his leg versus my arm and he's pushing down. I, it's just it's gonna be a bad situation for me. Or maybe I did capture effectively, but he's you know, using his hands to fight and he's trying to shrimp out to the best of his ability and he, he was able to slide down. So I'm gonna transition this now. I'm gonna be passing on the side that my leg has his uh, leg staple, and I'm gonna be going for a knee slide, knee slice, knee cut, or whatever you call this. That's so many names for it, to where I'm gonna be putting this knee across. If I hold on to this though, he just grabs my sleeve, his arm, and then pushes down, it's going to off balance me. It might sweep me, at the very least, it's going to probably knock me backwards and I'm going to go back into his guard, and then everything I've done is pretty much for now. So, once I'm here, as I start to lose this, I'm going to let go, and I'm just going to make sure that he doesn't lose you with an underhook, and I usually do that by putting my forearm on his hip and just kind of like come mm. so he almost got out of that he wasn't being nice to you he would have gotten out of that so when you get there here and throw your legs so don't just pick your hips up and throw your legs around so at the same time that I'm switching legs I'm, I'm checking the hip making sure that he doesn't get the underhook I can kind of lean into that to close the space and then usually from here uh, if he has the time to react he's going to catch me in the water guard Trapping my heel between his legs, and then this is just pretty much like a typical this one. Whatever he's doing with this one, if he's controlling, I'm gonna grab the uh, the wrist. If he's trying to hide that, I might be looking for the uh, triceps. I'm pulling this up as I'm leaning across his body. I, I always prefer attempting it without putting the head down first, because then you really like, commit yourself to this position and you have less transitional options. So I'm gonna hit the underhook, lean across. I am angling this knee outward as well now. Start to slide, go for the top leg if I can. If flexibility is an issue, the bottom point the foot, pop it under the shoulder. So this is now reinforced, and it's going to be harder for him to shrimp and get that on the mat. Trapping that in my armpit, grabbing his triceps once again, getting side control. Whether I'm with my hips elevated, down, transition. This is all I got this time. He started flexing downward and defending, but before I was able to get it on my shoulder. So I'm going to come through and replace my leg with my other leg, as well as blocking his head. Push that underhook, the arm, sliding through. If he doesn't have anything, fantastic. If he does, Grabbing what I can, triceps, pulling up, leaning over, pointing my toes. Like I say, top leg ideally, get the most leverage. So, if you can reach it, bottom leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm just pressuring. Pull me up more. Oh, I just 